Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna learn some data structures and algorithms. I'm gonna be making an entire series of data structures and algorithms written in Ruby. So look out for future videos um, with more data structures and algorithms. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on linked lists. Um, if you're not familiar with what a linked list is, it's a basic data structure um, that allows you to uh, store collections of data. And one of the things that it does pretty well is it allows you um, to add things uh, in the middle of the linked list without uh, reorganizing or shifting uh, every other element in the array. Um, so for example, in an array, if you add an element into the middle, you have to shift all the other elements down. In a linked list, um, it's simple. It's just uh, changing what uh, a few pointers point to. And so it's a lot more flexible. Um, it also allows you to um, use memory more efficiently because you're only um, using the amount of memory that your collection currently holds. You don't have to have an array that um, grows and shrinks um, as the data structure um, or as, as you add elements to it. So there's a few efficiencies that make it uh, better than arrays, but there's also some downsides and um, it is slightly more um, code because it's not uh, built in natively. But we're gonna create our own linked list class today and learn um, how it works. So let's get started. So we'll start off with a linked list class. So I'll just say linked list. Okay. And then a linked list, um, we need basically a place to start. So if we have a linked list, we need to know where that linked list starts. And we usually call that place the head of the linked list. So we're going to have an attribute and we'll just use the adder accessor here and we'll call um, this attribute the head. And what this head is, is just the starting place for our linked list. Okay. And then we want to initialize um, a linked list. So we'll make um, an initialize method. And all this is going to do is set that head to nil. So we'll say himself.head equals nil. Because when we create a linked list, it's going to be initially empty. Um, so we want that to be nil to signal that it's empty. Um, then what we need to do is actually take a small detour into a separate class and this is going to be a private class so it's only going to be used inside of the linked list um, and it's usually called, called a node and what a node is is just one piece of a linked list so if I have 10 um, nodes then my linked list is the length of 10 and each of those nodes holds some data. Um, and so what a, what a node has is usually it has two um, attributes as well. It has some sort of value. And in Ruby, it's nice. We can just call it value. And we can store um, anything in there because it's uh, dynamically typed. And then we also have uh, what we call the next node, which is just a pointer to you know the next node in the list. And this, is, this pointer is what allows us to um, add nodes uh, very easily and, and take away nodes very easily without reorganizing the entire list. Um, we would just change what this pointer points to um, for the node um, that we want to add um, an element after. And so we have these two uh, attributes right here. And then we also want to make an initialize uh, method for the, these nodes as well. So um, when we initialize a node, we can tell it what value and then we can pass it um, a node that we want it to point to next. So we can say next node. And then all this is doing is you know, setting the value to that value that was passed in and uh, the next node to the next node that was passed in. So just like that. So that's really all we need to do um, with that. And so then after we've created this uh, node class, that's all we need for this node class for now. Um, and keep in mind, we're creating a very minimal linked list. There's a ton of optimizations that you can add um, to make things faster, more efficient, to um, add extra features like being able to um, start at the end of the list and work your way backwards or start at the head and go forward. So, but for this, we're just gonna keep it super simple. Um, so this is all we need for the node. Okay, so now we need a way to add something to our linked list. So we can say, um, we'll just make a method called add. And what this does is takes in a value. So you just pass in a value and say, I want to add the value 10 to my linked list. Let's say I'm just storing numbers. 
So what, what add has to do is first we want to check if um, our linked list is empty. So if it is empty, that means the head is going to be nil, right? Because we it initializes that value to nil. So we'll say um, if self.head um, is nil, then all we really want to do is we want to set the head to um, a new node and store that value in that node. So we can say um, self.head equals, and then we'll just do node.new and pass in the value. And then because this is our first node, um, there's nothing else for it to point to. So its next node property will be uh, nil. Okay, so that's what we do if this linked list is empty and this is the first node that we're adding to it or the first value that we're adding to our linked list. If that's not the case, if there's already a um, if there's already a head, then that means that you know this is not going to be true. It's going to be not nil. So we're going to go into this else statement right here, and this is slightly more, slightly more complicated. It's not too bad, um, but all we have to do is basically find the last. Um, we have to find the last node in our linked list, and then just set the next node. Um, property on that node that we found, the last node, um, equal to a new node that we're going to create and store this value inside of. So we can use a while, while loop for that. Okay, so what we can do is we can start off and we can say our last node, we can just say that it's um, self.head, okay, because we know we at least have a head, so we can just say that's our last node. And then we can say while last node dot next node um, is not nil. Okay, so we just have to add an exclamation mark here. So while the last node, next node is not nil, what that means is that um, this node, whatever node we're storing in last node, its next node uh, value is not nil. So there's something stored there. So that means we're not at the end of the list. So while that's true, um, we just need to update the last node equal to last node dot next node. And so this is just updating that last node and then we'll go through the while loop again and we'll keep going until we find a node where its next node uh, attribute is nil, which means we're at the end of the list. So right here we can say um, we are at the end of the list. Okay. And once we're at the end of the list, all we have to do is say uh, last node dot next node equals and then we can create a new node, node.new, and then pass in this value that we want to store that we're passing in way up here, which is the add method. And because this is the last node, it won't point to anything, so we can just set that to nil. Okay, and this will give us some super basic functionality. All we can do at this point is really add nodes to this linked list. We can't like remove them. Um, we don't really have any helper methods that will allow us to search for nodes or anything like that but we do have one method that will allow us um, to add a, a node into the linked list. So let's go test it out a little bit down here. So we can just say ll equals linked list dot new. Okay, and we don't have to pass anything into that initialize. It'll just set this to um, nil by itself. And then we can go ahead and add a few things to this linked list. So we can say add, um, and we have to pass in a value. So we'll add the value 10. And then we'll add another value, so we'll add the value 20. So right now we have a linked list of size 2, and it just stored one node with a value of 10 and another node with a value of 20. And now we can just do some really simple um, querying of this linked list just to see if it's actually working as intended. So we can put ll.head.value, um, and then that will be, um, that should be 10. And then we can do um, ll.head.nextnode.value. And so this is just grabbing the next node, which um, should be 20 right here. So if I run this, we should get uh, 10 and then 20 printed out. So let's double check that. We run Ruby linked list. And after we run that, we see we get 10 and 20 printed out, which is great. So we have an add method that allows us to add to our linked list. Uh, however, that's not super helpful. We need a few methods that will find values in our linked list um, and remove values from our linked list. Um, so let's go ahead and add 
uh, a method that will search our linked list and uh, try to find a value. So we'll say find and pass in a value. And what we want to do here is pretty similar to what we did um, in this else statement, um, except for we're going to be checking each node's value along the way. And if we happen to find a node with this value, um, then we can uh, return true. So let's say um, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the head again. So we're going to get we're going to say um, while uh, self well let's just start with uh, node equals self dot head, and we'll say while node dot next node is not nil. I've add the exclamation mark right here so it's not nil. Okay, so we keep going through nodes while there is a next node. And then we'll say if uh, node.value equals value, then we can return uh, true. So we can just break out of the loop, break out of the function and return true. And then if we make it through all the nodes and we haven't hit this statement, we haven't returned true, then that means that value was not in the linked list. It was None of the nodes contain that value, um, so we can just return false. Okay, so this should allow us to do um, something like this. So I can say puts uh, l.find and then the value 10, and that should return true, and then puts ll.find um, 70, and that should return false. So we should get um, true and then false printed out. And let's go test that and make sure it works. Um, and we get true. And then um, it seems like we're stuck in an infinite loop here uh, because what we're doing is um, we're checking while the node is, oh, so we have to actually update this node. Um, so the true that we got returned was actually incorrect. It just worked because it was the first node. Um, so what we have to do is we have to come in here um, and every single time we go through this while loop, we need to update the node is equal to um, node.next node. Um, so that way we're actually traversing the list. What, what we were having before is we were just stuck in an infinite loop and we were just constantly checking the first node if that first node's value was equal to the value. Um, and if it wasn't, we were just rechecking the first node and it was just doing that infinitely. So this line right here is super important. This is what allows us to escape this while loop eventually um, if we don't find anything um, and then return false. So let's go go back and run this again and hopefully we shouldn't get that issue that we had last time um, and we don't so we get true so it found the value of 10 in the linked list and returned to true and we get false because it did not find the value um, of 70 in the linked list and then if we want to um, just double check we can just do l, l dot find and then um, we can search for that second element that we uh, added right here and that should return true as well um, which it does not so we need to go uh, see why it's not so it's saying uh, self.head and wow the next node uh, is not nil okay okay so we're actually checking one ahead so that's not good because we're never going to check the last element um, so we need to check um, that uh, the node itself is not nil instead of the next node so while the node itself that we're currently checking is not nil and this will actually allow us to check the last element um, instead of skipping the last element like we were previously doing, uh, which is great. Okay, so now it works properly. So now we're checking the first node, um, and then we're going through the entire linked list, and we're um, not finding 70, and then now we're checking the second node, and we're finding 20, so we're getting true. And this is something to bring up. Linked lists are notoriously difficult to code. There's just a lot of edge cases um, that come up, and uh, various bugs and whatnot that can be introduced just by forgetting subtle little things um, like this right here um, and, and this. So yeah, while you're coding your linked list, just be, be careful of those things and try to really think through what's happening and so you don't run into these little edge cases. Uh, but that, I think that's it for now for this first data structures and algorithms video written in Ruby. Um, I'm going to release another video that will talk about um, deleting things from a linked list and then possibly some more optimizations we can add that will make searching for things in the linked list um, and adding and removing things um, more performant. So keep an eye out for that. And then we'll also go into some of the big O um, notation and um, the performance of a linked list and uh, how it performs. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks very much for watching.